Tonight, an alarming new study suggests millions of young Americans who vape are more likely to get COVID-19. Reporter Jacqueline Coleman tells us how this trend is putting more teenagers at risk. What we know is that one in every four high school students in our country admits to vaping daily. So what's the headline here? If you've ever used an e-cigarette, you are five times more likely to be diagnosed with COVID-19. If you smoked in the last 30 days, that number jumps to seven times. School districts are having to hire extra security guards in restrooms. They're having to provide extra security around campus just to try to get a hold on it. But they have no idea how big this is. The issue is so big that Schools Against Vaping, a national organization, is giving voice to American schools to take legal action against the e-cigarette manufacturer, Juul. We're hoping that this time around that the lawsuits that have been filed against Juul, the leading e-cigarette manufacturer, will bring in millions for cessation programs and for education of the community. But how does vaping make you high risk? We know that vaping attacks the respiratory system. So does COVID. So that's the tie-in. When you have weakened bodies, the virus comes in and, and you are a hospitable host. National Executive Director of Schools Against Vaping, Michael Mark, says vaping companies are marketing the product as cool and trendy, and a change starts with the community and schools. To ask your school district to get involved. If you go to our website, which is schoolsagainstvaping.org, you'll find all of the research for the last four or five years that has provided on the vaping issue. In Hattiesburg, I'm Jacqueline Coleman.